Hey there, Mrs. Brown here, and today I want to talk to you guys about one of my all-time favorite books that I actually get the privilege to teach. It's Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. So I first read this in seventh grade, and I've read it and then taught it numerous times since, and I just think it's a classic and timeless. So Fahrenheit 451 takes place in a futuristic society. Some may say like today's day and age, Ray Bradbury wrote it back in the 50s. The main character's name is Guy Montag, and he is a firefighter, but not a firefighter like you may think. His job is actually to start fires instead of put them out. Books are actually banned. You're not allowed to have them, um, touch them, read them, nothing. There's no books, um, so that's obviously problematic. Um, and Montag, his job is to get rid of them, to incinerate these books. So he goes about his business doing that until one day he meets a 17-year-old girl named Clarice McClellan, and she totally shakes up his world. She goes for walks outside every day and actually pays attention to the, to the sky and to the grass and does more than just robotically move about her life. So that sends Montag for a whirlwind of a ride in the book Fahrenheit 451. Will he continue to be a firefighter? Will he take off the hat and do something else? You'll have to read the book to find out.